But it is bittersweet because watching this is painful, mm. but it's necessary. Right. This needs to be watched. Yeah. We need to make sure things change now. Ava DuVernay sat down with Oprah Winfrey for Netflix's four-year consideration Emmy panel to discuss when they see us and the importance of telling the story and even shared her thoughts on Linda Fairstein. When They See Us is a four-part limited series that tells the heart-wrenching true story from 1989 of five teenage boys of color who were falsely convicted of a brutal crime they did not commit. Fairstein was the lead prosecutor in the case and is portrayed on screen by Felicity Huffman. But in the days following the series' debut, Fairstein was a subject of intense scrutiny and backlash, and recently news broke that she resigned from the boards of Vassar College, God's Love We Deliver, and the Joyful Heart Foundation. The former prosecutor was also a children's book author, but just days ago her publisher Dutton told the Associated Press that they dropped her from their roster. DuVernay discussed the news during the panel saying, I think that it's important that people be held accountable, and that accountability is happening in a way today that it did not happen for the real men 30 years ago. But the director went on to say, I think that it would be a tragedy if the story and the telling of it came down to one woman being punished for what she did because it's not about her. It's not all about her. She's part of a system that's not broken. It was built to be this way. It was built to oppress. It was built to control. DuVernay and Winfrey also shared the stage for back-to-back -back panels, the first being with the actors and producers. To the actors, Winfrey said that everybody's performance was seared on her heart, but she singled out Jarell Jerome's portrayal of Wise, saying that she felt personally gutted by his performance. Jerome credited his bonding sessions with Wise ahead of filming that helped him take on the role and also said it was one of the hardest things he's ever done or allowed himself to do. He added, Corey was my therapist. And the emotions came pouring out during the second panel when the men, now collectively known as the Exonerated Five, Raymond Santana, Kevin Richardson, Antron McRae, Yusuf Salam, and Corey Wise came together to share the stage. Winfrey asked the men how they were able to keep their sanity behind bars knowing they were innocent. Salam credited meditation. I knew one day I would step out of this hell, he said. How am I going to step back into this world? How am I going to make sure I don't fall on my face? Meditation was tremendous. In an emotional moment, McRae revealed that even years later, he's having a difficult time moving forward in his life. I'm damaged, he told Winfrey. I need help. I know it. The system broke a lot of things in me that can't be fixed. I'm struggling. McRae said that he appreciated how when they see us turned out, but that it brought back a lot of pain. DuVernay also explained that reviews for the film didn't matter as much as the opinion of the men, because their opinions are the ones that matter and she treasures the most. I wanted them to love it. Afterward, they embraced each other. There's nothing else that can beat that moment. The special is set to air Wednesday night on both Winfrey's own and Netflix. Now for more on the story, head to THR.com. And until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.